Namaste all of you. Welcome back to Inspiring Math and Science. This is Samya. Yes, in this today's class, we are going to learn about the lowest key concept of our power lesson. Okay, this class is for grade 8 CBSC Math. Yes, last key concepts of the power lesson. In our earlier class, we have learnt about the loss of exponent and some examples on the basis of that loss of exponent. Yes, such kind of questions also may arise. What is that actually? Few things they may give, few numbers they will give, fractional numbers they may give and they will find what number should be added to get something. Or else what number is multiplied by any number like 1 by 2 whole to the power 6 to get something, 16 by 4 whole to the power 4 like this. Okay, such kind of a question I am going to explain you along with a very important concept of this power lesson yes once again heartily welcome all of you to my youtube channel inspiring math and science yes come we will go to learn that yes this is an example what i'm going to explain you now see here which number must be multiplied by minus 4 by 5 whole square to get 2 by 3 whole cube okay 2 by 3 cube we need to get this answer by multiplying the number to minus 4 by 5 whole square. Okay. Yes. Here that number we don't know actually. They have given what number should be multiplied by this number. Minus 4 by 5 square to get 2 by 3 cube. Yes. Let us take that unknown number as a x. Okay. Let us take that unknown number as x. Let the number be x. Okay. Here. Here. Multiplied that number must be multiplied by minus 4 by 5 whole square. Okay. This number which means x into multiplied by minus 4 by 5 square. Minus 4 by 5 square to get 2 by 3 cube. It means is equal to that is the answer. To get 2 by 3 cube. Yes. Here see as I told you according to our transposition method here the x the literal is along with this minus 4 by 5 square with the multiplication sign it will change as if it go to if the number goes to the right side of equal sign then multiplication will changes as division then the number will go to the numerator place okay the number will go to the denominator place yes here see we'll take x we want x is equal to 2 by 3 whole cube which is equal to equal the sign. Already it is equal the sign. x is equal to 2 by 3 cube. This is going to the denominator place. Okay. Here minus 4 by 5. Why it came here? Because this number along with x with multiplication sign. I am going to take that number after the equal sign. So the Sign will change as multiplication to the division. Yes. Now see here. Minus 4 by 5 is in denominator place. We will take that to the numerator by changing the denominator to numerator. Numerator to denominator with the same sign. Yes. Which is nothing but 2 by 3 whole cube. Here this I am going to take along with this. Means numerator and the denominator will Change their place along with the same sign. Here into will take minus 5 by 4 whole square. Okay. 5 by 4 whole square. Here we are going to take this answer and we will do the cancellation. Yes. Now I will grab this. Yeah. Now here C which implies 2 by 3 whole cube. 2 by 3 whole cube into minus 5 by 4 whole square which implies 2 cube minus 3 cube which means okay 2 cube means 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8 divided by 3 cube. 3 cube means this is of the form a power m by b power m. Okay. Which is equal to a by b whole power m. Here see 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. 
2 multiplied itself thrice. Here 3 multiplied itself thrice. 3 3 is a 9. 9 3 is a 27. Into here take it as minus 5 minus 5 whole square. Minus 5 into minus 5 which means minus into minus plus 5 5 is a 25. Okay. Instead of this minus 5 square I will write the answer 25. I hope so this is clear. Yeah. Okay. Minus 5 squared means minus into minus plus 5 5 is a 25 plus 25. Divided by 4 squared. This square is applicable for both numerator and the denominator. 2 applicable for minus 5 also. 4 also. Here I have taken minus 5 into minus 5. That is plus 25. And 4 into 4. 4 4 is a 16. Here 8 1 is a 8 2 is a 16. Here see 27, 25, 2, 1. It will not get cancelled. Yes. Now 25 1 is a 25. Divided by 27 2 is a. What is this? 2 7 is a 14. 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 5. The answer is 25 by 54. First sentence we need to write here. What is that? Therefore, we should multiply which number? This answer. 25 by 54. 2. 2 what number? Minus 4 by 5 squared. Minus 4 by 5 squared to get 2 by 3 cube. 2 by 3 cube. Okay. Yeah. See here such kind of questions also may arise. Simple. What number should be added? If it is like this, the addition, the x will be there only in the LHS form. But the number, the number will go to the RHS side. Then if plus is there, it will come into the negative sign. If multiplication is there, it will come as a division sign. So I have shown you this division. Okay. Simple, in addition and subtraction, you will take directly with minus sign and you will take the LCM and all, how I explained in the earlier videos. But here in such case, in the division form, what you will do? You will take the denominator, the number, what will be in the denominator, no? That you need to take reciprocal with the multiplication sign and then cancellation will take place. Yes. Now, we will move to the important point, scientific notation. Yes, what it is scientific notation? Where we will use this? Yeah. If you want to deal with very largest or the very smallest number, we will represent the number with scientific notation. What we need to do? How we will express this? How we will express the numbers in scientific notation? Yeah. Three points are there. Yes, let us see that. Scientific notation. Scientific notation. Yes. What is that first point says? First we need to put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. Okay. Put the decimal point after the non-zero digit. Okay. What the number will be? There no? Except zero. There we need to put first the decimal point. First point. Then what is the second point? Then we need to move that decimal point to right or left. How they will be asking the question no? like that. We need to move the decimal point and that moving of the decimal point will represent the exponent of 10. Okay. What the position? How many position? How many Digits it will increase no the decimal point. How it will be moved? How many digits it will skip? No, that will represent the exponent form means power. It will be take the exponent of 10. Okay. Then the next one. If you move the decimal point from right to the left, then the exponent will be positive. 
from right to the left right to left if the decimal digit moves from right to left then the exponent will be positive yes like that if the decimal digit moves from left to the right left to right then the exponent will be negative okay if you move from right to the left if you move means v not the decimal point if the decimal point moves from right to the left then the exponent will be in the positive number then if the decimal point moves from left to the right then the exponent will be in the negative form yes let us take an example okay to show how it will be see here simple things first we need to put the decimal point after a first non zero digit then we need to move that decimal point then the moving of the position of the decimal point will represent the exponent of 10 okay how many digits it will skip no that many powers it will come and then if the decimal digit moves from right to the left from right side to the left if it is like this okay then the exponent will be positive number if the decimal digit moves from left to the right like this okay in such cases the exponent will be the negative number yes let me take an example Yes, I hope so. These four points are clear for you. If you know this, you can solve the scientific notation sums easily. Yes, first, express in scientific notation. 6, 4, 3, 5. 6, 4, 3, 5. 0, 0, 0, 0. Yes, what I told you actually in the scientific notation form, we need to put first decimal point after the first non-zero digit. Here see, this number is here. It means what actually? 6 crore, 43 lakh, 50 thousand. Okay. Yeah. Here, this is actually the regular decimal digit is here. Okay. This is our Indian system. Yes. Now, what we need to do? First, we need to put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. Here, non-zero digit is 6. So, put decimal point after the 6 and write all the numbers as it is 5, 3, 4, 0 and another one, 0. Here, next, we need to see how many digits the decimal point will move. Here, see, actually it was there earlier. From here, it came to the first non-zero digit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 points, 7 digits it has moved from right to the left. So, it means 10 to the power 7. Here what we need to write? 6.435000. Yes, this, instead of this we can write it as 6.435 into 10 to the power 7. This is the scientific notation. Representing. Sometimes they may ask like this also. Represent the given number in standard form. Already they will be giving in the exponential form. Yes. One example I will show you. 90877. 9087-7. Double six five into ten to the power eight. Okay, we need to represent this number in the standard form. Okay, first leave this. This ten power eight is there, no? Just you leave. Come to here. This number we need to represent first as in the scientific notation. Okay, later on we'll multiply this power to that number. Yeah, see here. Our condition is first one we need to put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. Here non-zero digit is 9. I am going to put point after 9. Write all the numbers as it is. 08, 77, 665. 
it what is there that you leave first if you put the decimal digit what is the criteria second criteria how many numbers it moves no how many digit the decimal point moves that many power it will get yes na from here it has moved from right to the left right to the left it moves then how many digit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10 to the power 7 now you write this given power as it is into 10 power 8 yeah now write the number as it is 0 9.08 double 7 double 6 5 into here see a power m into a power n formula which means a power m into a power n which is equal to a power m plus n yes na yeah here 10 power 7 plus 8 which means 9.08 double 7 double 6 5 into 10 to the power 8 plus 7 15 okay this is the standard form of 9087765 into 10 to the power 8. Okay. Yes. These two are the bit different types in the scientific notation. They will ask represent the given number in scientific notation. Or else they may ask represent the number in the standard form. Along with scientific notation only they may give. You have to represent that in the standard form. Simple. First put the non-zero digit after the first, put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. After that just move the decimal point from right to left or left to right what the requires is there no, in the given number like that. Then that many numbers it may get in the power exponent. Okay, If we move that decimal digit from right to left take the power or else exponent in positive. And if the decimal digit moves from left to the right, then take the exponent in the negative number. Yes. Okay. These are the things what are there in our exponent lesson. Yes. Some questions, they may arise on this scientific notation. Yes. I hope so. My video is useful for you. If you like my video, these all the things will be depth in the coming updated video. So that is from april okay from the april i'll start so what are the batches there now for eighth now at least my videos 10 percent it should useful for those people okay yeah if you like my video kindly share to your friends and family if you like my video kindly give me a thumbs up so that i'll motivate it from you people yes kindly subscribe our channel inspiring math and science yes thank you so much